pavilions represent an exciting new chapter in the history and the future of Royal Dairy Expo. And we stand before you this morning very proud to be a partner in the funding of the New Holland Pavilions. The pavilions replaced old cattle barns, and we now have world-class housing to house our world-class cattle and exhibitors. What a day, finally coming across the finish line on a project that many of us, many people right here today have been dreaming about for years and for years. World Dairy has grown beyond anyone's wildest dreams over the years that it's been here at the Light Energy Center. And, and, and people from across the country, states across the country, have tried to lure World Dairy away. They've said, look at those old barns, look at this facility, you're all growing it. Come here and look what we can do with you. And World Dairy came to us and said, we want to stay in Dane County. We want to stay in Wisconsin. We want to work with you to make sure that World Dairy stays where it belongs, right here in the state of Wisconsin. So thank you, World Dairy, for your commitment to our state. We when Joe Parisi, the executive, said, I think we can get this done, but I can't get it done alone. And the governor said, we want to help. Make sure you figure out a way we can help them. And the Midwest Horse Fair, and New Holland, and even the food catering service, along with World Dairy Expo, ste stepped forward and said, we can have a facility that not only will serve dairy and the state of Wisconsin, we can have a facility that will serve many, many others in many ways in this community and our state. It's gonna be hard pressed for Harrisburg, or Louisville, or Denver, for the American Royal in Kansas City to rip it out of our hands now. It is here to stay. But a tremendous opportunity from the standpoint of showing off to all of our friends from across the country and around the world, but it's also a great way of showing off the economic impact that agriculture has in this state. And to celebrate, not just the economic and business impact, but to celebrate the fact that, for at least those of us here in Wisconsin, I believe others from across the country and around the world, farming's not just a business, it's a way of life. And we can just show off something that's real important to our farm families here in this state. It's important to our communities who support those farm families. And that's really what this is. This is a celebration of the dairy industry in this state, in this country, all around the globe. We're proud to be a part of it here today. And we want to thank all the partners who made that possible. Congratulations. Two, one.